Hey, this is a follow-up to the previous tutorial where I created the minimap for this city. So in this video we are going to discover how to add towers, make symbols associated to them appear on the minimap and make them show some animated range that is updatable by a slider. This is where I left off the project in the previous video, so what I'm going to do first is load the tower model. Next, I'm going to create a global variable that will hold a reference to the loaded model, which we are going to use to create clones of the tower. Speaking of clones, I'm going to import the skeletal neutrals module. If you don't know why this is needed, check out this video. The next thing I'm going to do is add a couple light sources needed for the towers to be displayed. Now here's the plane, I want the tower to be added to the scene when I hit the T key on the keyboard and the position is going to be determined by the cursor. That means we need to always keep track of the mouse position by updating the mouse position vector every time a mouse move event is detected. That done, now I'm going to use the Raycaster to create a group which will contain four objects and the first is going to be a copy of the tower model. And with that we completed the first part of this section, next we want to make symbols of these towers appear on the minimap. That said, I'm going to load the icon, map it on a plane and add it to the group. I set the transparent property to true here since I have a rounded transparent image. I also rotated the mesh since I have the minimap camera rotated, without this the icon will appear upside down. In addition to that I set the Y value greater than 0 to prevent Z fighting with the plane on which the minimap is mapped. By the way you may ask why I used the group here and the answer is simply to have all the four objects at the same position. The next step I'm going to do is remove the symbol mesh from layer number 0 and set it to layer number 1 and that as you know to make the symbol appear only on the minimap. And there you go, mission 1 completed. In this second section we are going to introduce the animated green area around the towers. So to accomplish that we are simply going to create a plane which material is a custom shader material that I explained in this video.
Now I'm just going to create a mesh and add it to the group as the third object after the tower model and the symbol. As you can see we got a mix of green and white and that's because the transparency is not activated in the material. Another thing I want to do is prevent the Z fighting between ranges, to do that I'm going to set a random value to the Y position of the range mesh. Now that we've done with the animated ranges, I'm going to add the distance controller using the CSS 2D render. I actually made a tutorial explaining this if you want to understand the details, I just want to explain a certain part in this one. So now that I've added the range element, as you can see, I can change its value. The reason behind that lies in this line, as stated in the CSS 2D render tutorial, we actually need this line to be able to use the camera controls, but since it blocks pointer events on the container of the HTML elements, we are no longer able to access them. So what I'm about to do to fix that is simply activate the pointer events only on the range element. And this is it for this video, so make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.